Yeah. Oh, see, I never have to worry about anything like that because I'm the packet of sugar. You are for sure. I'm like sweet and low, man. I, forget the sugar. You're a pack of sugar. I'm a pack, <laughs> pack of sugar. <laughs> pack of sweet and low. Oh, great term. I love it. Yeah. That's going to be great. Hey everybody, Chuck Rogers and my very good friend Keith Dunn, and together we are Tabletop Coffee, and tonight we are going to talk more about dealing with difficult people. But tonight though, we're going to talk about how to deal with people when they're being inappropriate, what do we do back that either doesn't help or makes it worse. Yeah, and it's so easy to make it worse. Yeah, it is. Uh, what's your MOS? We all have them. When the other person is not doing a good job, admittedly, it's bad. Right. What do you do in return that A doesn't help or B makes it worse? And she says, oh, so in other words, when the other person, what's my MOS when the other person's being a POS? <laughs> she actually said that. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And oh. I, I didn't know what she meant at oh, the time. It's a packet of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Oh, well, yeah, that's when they're what it being, was. when they're just being overly sweet and and just wonderful. What do you do in that situation? Yeah, a pack of sugar. That's... Just give them more of the same. <laughs> that's exactly so what I meant. will feed your MOS with, or I'll feed your POS with MOS. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So then it clicks. She goes, Ah, oh, I get it. Uh, so, so we can talk about that. <clears throat> it's really easy to go in the wrong direction. The right direction would be making them feel heard mm -hmm. is probably the right way. It is, it's, that's the right thing. But it's so easy to go the wrong way. Mm, yeah, because okay. you want to slip into trying to defend, you want to slip into trying to justify what you did or what that's you right. said or why you said it. Or yeah, I did that, but I did that because you said this yeah. or you, you did this. And I know I'm guilty of that. Oh, uh, you know, it's, it's we all are. so easy to just slip that in because you, you just don't want to be blamed for different things. Mm -hmm. And you're already frustrated about things. And yeah. so. Well, the reason this is so important and why I ask this is because when couples come to counseling, they typically believe it's the other person's fault that they're right. there. It is, it is directly your fault. And so there's a yeah. lot of finger pointing going on. It's not always the case. Sometimes some folks come and go, you know, I realize that I contribute a lot to this. But it's common for people to come thinking that, yeah, this happens, but the other person really is to blame. So one of the things that I want to do is to begin by saying we each contribute. There are things yeah. that we do, things that we say that contribute to the strife and the things that we don't say and don't do that contribute to the strife. So I want each person to begin to accept some responsibility. Okay. That. So that's how I get at that to begin with is saying, what is your MOS? When the other person's not doing a good job, what do you do in return that A doesn't help or B makes it worse? So is that not normally done in a verbal fashion or do you ever have people write things down? You know? Usually they talk about it. Um, sometimes they will disagree about it, but oftentimes at this point they will agree and say, yeah, that is what you do. Okay. Yeah, that is what I do. And then they'll kind of say, well, you typically do this first, but then you do this. Yeah, that's why. So they're able to right. kind of give a chain of the events that kind of happen uh, about the way the, the argument or the way to disagreement unfolds. Right. And you want them to be able to see that there are links involved so that you can take out a link at some point and hopefully stop that continuum from taking place. Yeah, break the domino chain. Yeah, stop the domino, take a domino out. Yeah, so okay. it can stop yeah. flat. Yeah, I had a guy one time come in, I was working with him and his wife, and they were doing okay. And then he came back and we began to talk about how to you know, be present for the other person when, in this case, when she was talking, she wasn't in the room, so he really wanted to be present for her. And we were talking about how to listen with your hear, which mm. is another you know, right. video that we've done as well. And he said, yeah, I, I get that. I get the listen with your hear and how to validate. We've been over that. And he said, I, 
I think at times I need to do it better. But he said, I think I do it pretty well. Okay. He said, but when do I get listened to? Was his reply. He says, I, okay. I think I do it. And so I'm really there for her, um, validating her, her thoughts, validating her heart, validating her emotions. But then I try to share what's on my head, my heart. And she is just defensive and um, kind of aggressive, accusatory. So what's a good way to deal with that when you are in that position? Yeah, well, so we talked about it. I said, so when she doesn't hear you, what do you do? Okay. What, what, what's your MOS? Right. He said, well, I think I get not inappropriately aggressive, but he said, I start kind of coming back with what you and I would call lawyering up, putting out more data mm. about why he's right. Right. Trying to help her see the error of her way. About him. I'm always right. It's like when I'm right, I'm right. And when I'm wrong, I could have been right. So I'm still right because I could have been wrong. He's, and then she just defends against that and becomes accusatory. And then he becomes more intense and becomes more defensive and more accusatory and then more aggressive. And so it just builds at that point. Okay. So if I remember correctly, I said to him, I, I think, I said, I think your wife's wrong about that. Okay. If you're coming to her, you're listening to her, you're validating her. At some point, it needs to. The shoe needs to go on the other foot so that right. she can be present for you. I said, but I think that when she is inappropriate and doesn't do that, I think you write yourself a license to be bad. And he goes, yeah, I do. And mm. I think that happens a lot. That's the MOS. Mm. Okay. When, yeah, when the other person is not doing a good job, I write myself a license to not do a good job back. But if, if, he, if he does feel that way and if he feels like he's doing a good job of listening – to her or, or she to him, it doesn't matter whichever way, you know, you, you never are able to quite break that cycle. How do you not get to that point at some point? You, you either write yourself a license to do that or you're just sitting there and, and it's very one-sided. It is in the moment. So what we talked with him about, or I talked with him about was, let's pretend that she's, you know, not doing a good job of being present for you. So then you... Turn around and you be present for her. Right. Make sure she's 100% validated. Did I get you? And then you ask her, um, can you just be present for me? Can right. you uh, validate me, validate my thoughts, and validate my emotions? Or, or maybe I should come back later. Okay. Or maybe just let it drop in the moment. And then a half an hour later or an hour later, come back and say, hey, I wanted to talk with you about something. I would like to make a request, which is another video. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. That we've already yeah. a video on request making. Yes. That you you be present for me and just hear me and validate me. Um, and if, if you can't, I get that. I'll come back and check on you mm. later tonight or tomorrow. Okay. Uh, I just really want to be heard about some things. But if you're not in a place where you can do that, I'll, I'll check back in. Okay. And you get the other person to agree to that. Okay, yeah, I do. I want to be present for you. Most people do. Right. So the big thing is to, to break the chain yeah. of inappropriateness and come back and make your request later to be heard. That is a, a good thought process to go through. It's tough. It is tough because you get frustrated at some point mm -hmm. through that process and to be able to think through it enough to say, hey, I really have some things I would like to talk about. And maybe now is not the right time. Maybe in a half hour or later tonight, you think we could do something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, that takes care of the MOS. There's nothing inappropriate about that. Right. That's sharing my, my concerns in a way that can be heard right. rather than being inappropriate back. Yeah. Well, that's good. All right. Well, we hope it was <clears throat> helpful for you. What else do we say? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching tonight's episode Absolutely. of Tabletop Coffee. Tonight we talked about MOS, more of the same. And when the other person is yeah, a pack yeah, of sugar. a pack of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> or sweet and low, because sweet and low is even sweeter than sugar. That's true. Yeah. So if they're really a pack of sweet and low... <laughs> How do you deal with that? How do, how do you cope with that? Um, and how do you make the right choices in that situation? Yeah. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, click that bell uh, so you're notified of the next episode that comes out. And I like it. Like it. Share it with your friends. Until next time. Thanks, everyone.